Hello everyone, this is Jethel Silverwing from Jethel.com. Today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be doing an unboxing video. Some of you have seen the ads on Facebook or Amazon or whatever, or maybe even seen some reviews here on YouTube for a $300 toaster. That's ridiculous. It is so ridiculous that I'm not going to do an unboxing video on it. Nope. So what I got is this. I saw an ad for this. I'm like, hey, that looks interesting. Let's give it a shot. And it's not $300. This is the Sedin Rapid Toaster. Sedin Rapid Toaster. It says here that it will toast 50% faster in half the time, which is redundant. Toast 50% faster in half the time. <laughs> okay, well that's redu that's just a redundant slogan, but you can see here it has a little touch screen on the bottom, a little touch screen on the bottom for toast type and how dark you want it and stuff like that. And it's got icons toward the top that'll change when you hit the little buttons. So let's take a look at it. Uh, it was about forty dollars on Amazon. And we're going to give it a shot. I need a new toaster anyway. Let's see how it works. Let's do it. Standard little appliance box. Okay. Let's check this out. Manual. Put that aside. I doubt I'll need a manual on this. Get the cord out of the way so I can lift the pulp board stuff out. How to join us. I don't want to join you, baby. Six bread selection types. If you can actually see that or not. Alright, so. Well, they didn't make this easy to get off, did they? And of course, the obligatory wire wrap to keep the cord from going all over the place. There we go. Alright, this is indeed a toaster. It's no heavier or anything than any other toaster that I've gotten. It has little things on the bottom so you can wrap the cord around for storage, I guess. Alright. Let's plug it in and see what lights up. Okay, so as you can see, the icons have now lit up. And apparently it does have a little timer, letting you know how much time is left on your bread. So let's see, we have little buttons down here. Let's see. So you can choose bread to type. Oh, yeah, all right. It went from white to waffle to English muffin. That doesn't look like an English muffin. It says English muffin, but that is not an English muffin. I'm not sure what that is. What is that? It's not an English muffin. Oh, you know what I think they did? They reversed them. They freaking reversed them. Um, the grain one... And the English muffin are mixed up. They're reversed. Okay, so a little slight design flaw there. That gluten free, I suppose. And now that one says grain, but it's a picture of an English muffin. So now I'm wondering. <laughs> so now I'm wondering, is that really meant for grain or is that meant for an English muffin? 
I don't know. I honestly don't know what the cooking difference would be, except uh, it'd be more like a bagel, uh, at least the way I cook English muffins, is I do the insides and leave the uh, the outsides. I like the outsides a little toasted, but prefer to have the inside crispy. So I'm not sure. We'll have to check that out. And of course, the last one is bagel. Yeah, and I see as I'm switching the bread types, the timer is changing. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Just had to hit a little harder. Oh, this doesn't bode well. It's taken me a couple of times to hit this button to have it change. But yeah, as you can see, the uh, timer is changing as I'm switching through the icons. Oh, but these things are not changing very well. This does not bode well for this thing. But I guess we'll find out. And then we have see a defrost mode. I'm not sure what that does. Reheat. Timer. Can we hit the button? No, we can't hit that. More time. Defrost. Reheat. So if we hit timer. Oh, I see. We're hitting timer and the icons for the darkness of the bread change. Gotcha. 40 seconds. I don't know what the heck 40 seconds is going to do. And I'm not real thrilled with the response on these little buttons. Really not. Okay, so I suppose we have it all there. I think the thing to do now is to test it out. What do you think? I have a loaf of bread. I've got a toaster. Let's test this thing out. <laughs> and just a quick note here, as I was setting up to start doing the toast, it shut itself off. Um, I think that may have been 30 seconds, but yeah, it, it shut itself off. So, okay, you just hit the pad again and it starts back up. All right, so let's try comparing each of these levels of toastness with some actual toast. So let's get the timer. Okay, that's the lightest color. I have some cheap white bread. Let's give it a shot. Now, should I do two at a time or one? Yeah, let's just do one. That would make the loaves last a little bit longer. So this is this lightest setting on white bread. Push the button down. And it says it's going to be done in 40 seconds for its lightest setting. So let's give it a shot. Of course, I'm not going to make you wait 40 seconds. So uh, here's a little time lapse. Okay, she popped. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's... You know, it's got a little, a little bit of a toasty edge here. And, you, know, you can definitely tell it's been in the heat. But uh, yeah, that's, that's its lowest setting. We'll put that one aside. Let's see. Ooh, the timer changed. It wasn't 40 seconds, now at 32. It could be because it's hot. Maybe. Okay, so let's change the timer. And this one's a little bit lighter, so it's 45 seconds. I'll try that one out. New slice of bread. Pop it in. And again, through the wonders of uh, editing... Uh, just to note, I am getting a little bit of a burnt smell here, um, but that could be, you know, it's a brand new toaster. It's whatever it, uh, whatever it is, just burning off on its first use. So, pop. Okay, now this was the second level. That's compared to the first one here. Yeah, it's, it's a bit more done. It's definitely firmer. So you can. So that's the first one, that's the second one. It doesn't look a whole lot different, but you can tell from the uh, 
you can tell that it's been in the toaster a, lot, a bit longer. So it's definitely more done. Let's try the next one. Timer. So the next one says 47 seconds. And we should start to see some toast on that. Some toast on that sucker. So, here we go. Okay, now that one. Not as dark as the picture would say, but you can definitely start actually seeing some brownness here. Definitely start seeing the toast and not just feeling it. So, okay, that's a bit more dark. Now, let's try the next one. The next is the middle one, and that's, I think, uh, with the picture anyway, that's how I like my, my toast. So, let's give that a shot. So, now that one says 54 seconds. We'll do it on the other side this time. All right, so, down. Pop. Yes, that is that is how I go. Ooh, you know the back side's not so great. Front side was good. That, that does get some good toast on it. Back side not so much. Hmm. Let's put that with the rest of them there, and we'll try the next setting. And it says one minute and one second. So, toss that in there, and down we go. That one. Yeah, that's, I, again, the back sides are a little bit lighter than the front. But I would definitely eat that toast. I would eat that toast. But, yeah, for some reason it seems to be a bit off balance when it comes to the back. All right, let's try the next one. Now we're going to get into what I would consider... Come on. Again, I am not happy with that touch screen. I'm really not. All right, so this would be getting into the burnt uh, category, I think. This is not toast that I would want. I know uh, Elkwin, my wife, likes her toast a bit more done than I do. But we'll see. But that that looks a little bit uh, more than I would like. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Ooh, toast. Oh. Ah. And let's see. That again, one side is getting darker than the other, and I figured out why. We'll show you after the next one, which will be the last setting. Yeah, that's. Um, I mean, I would still eat that toast, but. Bit darker than I would like. But you know, if someone handed me a piece of toast of that color, I would have no problem eating it with some butter, you know. Okay, so last one. Again. There we go. Again, I do not like this. Crisis averted. This thing did set off my smoke alarm, which I'm not a shock. <laughs> not a surprise, really. All right, let's. Okay, so now we're on the last setting. Now, this, if it is true to the picture, far too dark. If someone gave me a piece that dark, I wouldn't need it. So let's give it a shot. Down. Smoke. We have smoke coming out of the top. Whoa, okay, yeah, we have smoke coming out of the top on that one, and yeah, that is burnt. Oh, ow, ow, ow. That's burnt. Look at that. I would not eat that toast, but it is true to the icon. <laughs> it is true to the icon. All right, so, uh, as, of, as I've been saying, the it only seems to be toasting one side of the bread, and here's why. So let me... On one side, we're getting um, all the elements lit up, and on the other side, we're not. So, yeah, that other side, we're not. 
So I don't know if this is just a defective unit or it's supposed to be that way. I'm pretty sure it's just a defective unit. Um, one side's working, the other side is not, causing um, one side of the toast of the bread to not get toasted. So how did it work other than that? If both sides actually worked, how did the bread turn out? Um, I would say the chart on the front is mostly accurate. That last one certainly was. Woof. That is some burnt bread. Uh, I would not eat that. But it's a it's an option if you like your bread that done, I suppose. Um, but not me. And yeah, as you saw, the um, elements not light, uh, not heating up like they're supposed to. This is definitely going back to Amazon. Uh, I'll probably uh, just end up um, returning this and ordering a normal toaster. Uh, but this thing here, um, I don't like the touch panel. It just doesn't seem to be sensitive enough. It took several taps on the uh, on the buttons to change any of the settings. I can't recommend this uh, from my experience. I could have gotten just with the elements and stuff. I could have gotten a defective toaster. I don't know. But I'm not impressed with this. Yeah. So I'm going to return this. I'm going to just get a regular old toaster and be done with it. Okay. Well, that is my uh, that is my review on this toaster. How do you pronounce that? Seedin. Seedin? Seedin, I think. Toast 50% faster toast in half the time. Well, unfortunately, it was my experience to toasted 50% of the toast um, because of that element issue. But, yeah, this was neat idea. Would have looked neat in the kitchen, I suppose, if it worked properly. But um, I can't recommend it. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe. I might do more of these uh, unboxing videos. You never know. This is Jethel Silverwing, a.k.a. Matt Sanchez. Jethel right there. Keep your arrows on the air and your feet on the ground.